car in the paint booth, we're going to go ahead and, like I basically explained, paint the whole front clip of the vehicle. And as you can see, it's not looking good. But, it's salvageable. Um, you know, I've calmed down a little bit from what has happened to this and the way that I'm being treated over it from the insurance company as well. But the real deal is, is that this is what happens. This is a prime example of good versus evil. Because let me explain what I'm talking about here. I'm a good guy. I don't rip people off. I don't scam on them. I don't, I don't use and abuse people. And I'm actually a pretty nice guy when it comes to meeting strangers. And when I say strangers, I'm talking anybody that walks in my office or my shop or my place of business that I've never met in my life. Um, even though you watch my videos and you know a lot about me from watching those videos, I don't really know nothing about you. So, in a sense of mind, you're a stranger to me, if that makes any sense. So, when guys like this loser here that has come over to my place of business and begged me for a job to hire him on, I took a chance. And I fucking lost. Welcome to... DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. this loser is now, this piece of shit, this scumbag that I took in under my wing, where do you think he is now? This is my speculation. He's not here for one, helping me fix this problem. But I'll tell you where he's probably at. He's probably trying to scam people for their money. He's probably scamming the government for food stamps and child support or whatever the fuck else he can scam them for. Free phones and free food and free money. He's probably trying to file disability and he's not disabled, but then on the other hand, he's going to play it out that he's disabled because that's what his storyline was here. Um, he's disabled, but yet on the other hand, he can do this kind of work and everything else that involved it. So this is the real deal. These f losers that I'm talking about here, they're out there. There's millions of them. And it's not just people like this guy that f me around on this car here. There's, there's people out there that are growing up in the world and they don't think they have to work for a living. They want to make YouTube videos like I'm doing. They want to get on the internet and sell shit on Craigslist. Or they want to, you know, do something where they don't have to get their hands dirty and actually commit a violent offense of hard labor work. They want everything handed to them on a silver platter. They want everything given to them for free because they don't think they need to do anything in life. And who 
Who's the real fucking winner out of all that? The person getting all the free shit. Me and possibly you, we're the losers of the situation and the way society is today because we are the honest ones that keep our fucking hats straight, our hands dirty from work, and pay our fucking bills honestly. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Talking about the low life loser world that doesn't want to work or learn anything in life for a living. And also talking about the scumbag corporation that we call insurance companies that want to screw the honest people, that want to take the honest people and throw them in the gutter. and put their self in the same category as the scumbag loser that doesn't want to work for a living. That's basically all I got to say. There's nothing else more to say, except I'm the one right here that's got to pay for this guy's problems and this company's screw up. But I'll go ahead and take another one and stick it up in my ass and be the good guy. Because once today's over, it's over. It'll never come back. And I will be done with this car and it will be gone. And I'm looking over the horizon now, just thinking to myself that every time I turn a corner or blink my eye, there'll always be another mountain to climb. There'll always be another obstruction in my way to move forward in life and to prove to myself that I am better than that. That I can take this thing and make something beautiful out of it. Because I'm not a quitter. I'm not a loser. And I definitely ain't a freebie, handout, give me, give me, give me, give me type fucking guy. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Laying the facts down, whether you listen or you think this is a joke or a clown shop or a, uh, a fiasco or entertainment or reality TV bullshit or whatever you want to think. I'm telling you this is fucking real. Click on that bell for notifications and comment below. Because if you don't, this big blob of Bondo is going to be inside your bed covers tonight when you crawl in there and it's going to get in places that we really don't want to talk about right now. Do my friend pay the favor and subscribe now. Do it, or that Bondo is going to do you. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.